from Nino sin amor. Nino sin amor, right? Yeah. The, the child without love. Yeah. And um, and you see in the film that kind of is reinforced, um, at least on a certain level, um, because what you see in Namor is a lot of hatred kind of unfolding and even proposing kind of a conquest of the world to the Wakandan people. Yeah. Right. And there is a level of like that statement proves to be true in the film. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say, uh, I, I didn't, I don't know if this is a kind of the, the intention of the director, but they were trying to kind of bring the, the audience into the life of Namor. Yeah. And I didn't feel that. He was not intimate. successful. No, at all. I don't think so. I, in fact, I made it more confusing. In he was not a re- like a lot of villains yeah. like Thanos, for example. Yeah. You can kind of relate to Thanos because he's got like a decent intention. Yeah. Like he's trying to bring balance to the universe based on an experience he has. So you, most villains are pursuing some good in their own minds that you can at least relate to. This guy was like, I, I couldn't even follow him. No. Yeah. And I didn't, yeah, like you said, I didn't like those implicit jabs at the church. He mentioned like these colonizers with their dogma and yeah. superstition, superstition or whatever. Superstition, religion. Came over and language, enslaved us. Which, which is, is a, Spanish would be, Which yeah. is an unnuanced and unfair black and white depiction of historical sure. events that don't yeah. accurately portray reality in their totality, even yeah. though there was slavery and, and bad things that took place during the conquest. And but, so going into the water, right? There's these people going into the water is kind of their way of opting out of having to deal with mm-hmm. these people and, and the war that they were kind of ensuing on, on their on their heritage. And so I don't know, that's kind of where one of my critiques That's a critique of the movie. Not only the implicit jabs of the church, but an unrelatable and kind of unintelligible villain. Yeah. It was just kind of like weird. Yeah. Um, and that comes from me, who's a Mexican, okay? Who's yeah. like, I'm trying to relate yeah, to this Mexican guy. guy right? Yeah, he is. So his, his heritage is is uh, is like the, the heritage of, of this villain is based yeah. out of uh, Mexico, Mexico region, Mexican region. And uh, and I was just like, I don't know, man. So I think it's, it's, you're reaching a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad they have a Mexican actor and Mexican people in it. Um, but I don't think it did him or the people justice, to be fair. Yeah. Um, I do think the character was kind of cool. I did like the soundtracks they had with it, very kind of native in soil. Yeah. Uh, there were, they were very strong people, um, very kind of fierce, warrior like. Right. Um, even brutish to a certain extent, mm-hmm. um, here positively speaking. But I, did, I didn't think it did, them, did him justice. And I certainly don't think they tied in this character with the film very well. Yeah. Yeah. And he starts going on a he starts doing what we said is never permissible in our ju- episode on just war, which you can go yeah. back and listen to, which What's up, dude? he starts trying ago? to take, he starts trying to start wars to establish peace. Yeah. Right. He starts trying to go after in order to like protect himself and his people. He starts going after other people and like, 